Hello everyone, it's Cisco Labs, and this is Stoneblock. Brand new pack, brand new pack spell. We're gonna be giving this one a go. It's gonna be running in conjunction with Ignomatica 2 Skyblock because, well, on days where I'm having trouble getting videos out right now, I can sit down, play this one for 20 minutes, and be able to hit the record button. Where Ignomatica some days, I need two hours, maybe even more. It really depends on what I'm doing. And uh yeah, I spent so much time just staring at recipes and kind of which way to go in, in, in Ignomatica. So, yeah, I need something else for those kind of off days where I'm really busy. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be it. This is going to be the pack. It's going to be fun. It's kind of a kitchen sinkish, but it's kind of like a sky block at the same time. So it is a stone block. Um, so in a sky block, you start in the air, you're on your platform. You have a void world all around you. This one's kind of the opposite. So you actually start in a little room down in stone and all the way up to sky height, all the way down to bedrock. It's all stone. It's just a giant stone world. No regular resource gen, and uh, should be pretty fun. Different little spin on the kind of skyblock kind of setup there, and uh, I'm going to give it a go. A lot of people kind of ask me to try this out and give it a go, so why not, man? Uh, down here, you'll see there's 243 mods here. We're going to go ahead and create a new world. I actually changed one setting. Uh, better questing, and what else is it here? Better questing and the ore extraction are in the pack, and uh, we're going to go ahead and call it stone block. So you have to change the key binding uh, for them, because they're always on the same key. I just changed uh, the questing over to the tab key. That's usually where I do it. I'm going to put cheats on because I'm a big cheater. Also in new packs and, well, in packs in general, there's a lot of bugs. When you run into them, it's nice to be able to just switch to cheat mode really quickly. So I always leave it on. So definitely a thing. We're just going to load up the world here, kind of see how it goes. I did load up for about five minutes. I think I did the first three quests here. And then I didn't really do anything else. I just wanted to make sure everything kind of loaded up, worked well, everything was smooth. And uh, it seems pretty good. So anyway, here we are. We're in our world. We have, this is where we live. This is where we kind of survive. Um, <laughs> I don't know how we got here. I don't think there's any backstory. We have one single torch and uh, we have better questing book. That's about it. I have mine set the tab key, so I don't even really need the book, but we're going to go over here. You'll see here, there's actually six kind of quest lines in here and they're really loose. So these quest lines don't really need to be done. I guess you would have to basically go to the point where you know how to get your basic resources. But after that point, this pack pretty much turns into a kitchen sink. So you can really just do whatever you want. This is why it's a really just relaxed kind of chill pack because there's not going to be a lot of custom recipes. Uh, it does have a power generation tab just to show you some power options. I know mechanisms in here. It doesn't even list that. So there's more options than this. Same here, resource gen. I mean... X not high lows in here, and we're going to cover that at start, but that's resource gen. And uh, you would also have, uh, there's roost in here, so the chickens, that'd be another option for resource gen. So, I mean, it's really just showing you some possibilities without giving you a quest for everything, right? Over here, we have our both of our storage systems. So we actually have AE2 and refined. We got drawers, and uh, I don't know this mod here, iron storage, but uh, we got our black hole units and our black hole tanks from uh, industrial, what is that, industrial foregoing? And then it's showing your two endgame mods. So you actually have Draconic Evolution and Project E. And uh, this is going to be an easy pack, but at the same time, should be fun. It's more of an exploratory pack. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. So anyway, let's go in here. Let's go to start of stone block. Kind of check this out here. It wants us to get some stone pebbles. Pebbles is obtained by breaking stone with an empty hand. So that's exactly what you do here. You just kind of punch things. Uh, make sure it's an empty hand. So you have to switch off the pebble if you grab one. <laughs> kind of move on. And, uh, we're going to need a little bit of these. I think it said 16, but I'm going to clear out all the corners here. Just give us a little room to kind of work with. There we go. We got the first quest, man. We're just flying through this. Look, a couple seconds in the pack, and we already we already got uh, our first quest here. The loot chests, they are going to be overpowered, and uh, I'm fine with that. I expect no symbionts of balance in a pack like this. Like I said, it's just a fun one. Kind of like, um, you know, any, <laughs> any kitchen sink bag. They just end up not being very balanced. Anyway, we're going to take those. We're actually going to make our first cobblestone. Grab that. Grab our first cobble, our first quest here. There we go. See what we get. Whoa. Cryo stabilized flux stocks. <laughs> That's actually crazy. They can transfer infinite RF. They'll be very good later in the pack. So I'll actually keep those around. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead to the next quest here. There we go. And uh, kind of see what we need here. We need a stone crafting table. It says there, pebbles, the cobblestone, the stone crafting table. So we've already done the first step going to grab grab our crafting table here kind of get that quest and the second is recognized i'm going to switch it over to a crafting station because uh, there's no good reason not to let's go over here let's grab ourselves another loot chest and see what we get here we got a diamond furnace <laughs> that's actually gonna be pretty cool because i think 
I think that's actually a pretty good furnace. Huh. That's cool. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break that. We'll have to see. I'll have to wait until I have my first tool here. I might have not been supposed to put that down yet. Because if I need a diamond level tool, I can't actually pick that up. I think we're going to need a little bit more of these stones here too. So let's see what we got here. Oh, it's not giving me any. What's going on here? I'll switch to another slot and kind of see what happens. There we go. We're getting them now. That was a little weird. Anyway, let's do that. Let's grab one more cobble because I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. So the next thing it wants us to do is get dirt. Dirt is obtained by using a hammer, craft a stone hammer, and start smashing. So they've added a step in between gravel and sand. So this is a normal extra hilo kind of thing you do. Uh, but we need to go ahead and make the stone hammer. And they added a step just for dirt. It's basically all they did. So yeah, kind of a good thing, but also a hassle <laughs> a little bit. But anyway, oh, that gives you two. Wait a second, is there two recipes for that? Okay, well, I'm so confused. It's actually seen the slots in this thing as a as an inventory. So it actually multi-blocked with the crafting station. That confused the heck out of me. Anyway, let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Let's make two of these. Let's grab the stone rods. Let's go right there and actually make a stone hammer before I totally confuse myself. And uh, now we need to, well, hammer things down. So as we hammer this, we get cobble now instead of pebbles. So we get to kind of skip that step there. Uh, we're going to get a good amount of these, I think. There we go. Start off with a little bit of cobble here. Expand our room a little bit. Kind of push forward as we go. I'll probably end up pushing off in one direction and just kind of going that way. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to need a long kind of area, I think, to kind of start off. Because otherwise everything's going to get bunched up. Um, this room in particular is going to be good for growing trees, I think. So, yeah. So I don't have to dig up as high everywhere else. <laughs> so this will end up probably being the tree room at some point. Then we'll kind of move everything else kind of forward as we go. It's going to be weird. I mean, I'm not used to building in caves. I usually build outside. I usually go out of my way. But, uh, not going to be able to in this pack. So anyway, let's go ahead and throw 10 of these down because I think that's what we needed. We're going to go ahead and uh, just hammer that. You can actually use ore extraction on everything but regular stone, I think, is the way it works. And then, oh, I didn't mean to do 10 more. Well, let's do 20. <laughs> we'll have some extra dirt. There we go. And uh, just grab this gravel here. Next gravel, we're actually going to grind this down again, and we should get dirt. That was actually the step there. So we'll just do that right there. Here we go. We got 20 dirt. We actually have 20 more than we are, you know, needed here. So let's find a little spot here. Let's set up a little area for trees, because uh, we're actually going to have to grow things here before too long. So that should work. Oop, let's not do that. I even don't even know how to get saplings yet. I guess I should have checked that before I do this. <laughs> I'm just going to do that there. There we go. We got a good amount. Let's kind of look at the book here. Let's grab our quest. Going to have that. I don't even know what that item was. It looked like a crook. Resident upgrade kit. That'll be good later on. I mean, not great. It's not the conversion kit that takes it all the way up, but uh, still good. Let's go ahead and uh, see what the next quest here is. The next quest is going to be craft a stone crook. So I'm going to guess it's the regular crook recipe. So let's try that out right here. And uh, I have no idea what we're using this for because we don't have leaves yet. Oh, can you recognize that? Thank you. Go ahead and grab one of these random blue chest. And we got fluid displays. I don't even know what these are for. The fluid display is a decorative block that can take on textures of fluids. So it is a block that simulates fluids without being fluids. Okay, don't really care. <laughs> we'll just gonna. I keep trying to think. I keep thinking I'm gonna put that in there for storage, but I don't want to use the furnace as storage. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's kind of go past that. That's a weird little reward. Vanilla saplings is obtained by breaking dirt with a stone crook. Okay, so it's a good thing I actually made that extra dirt. Let's kind of grab all this right here. There we go. And then we should be able to vein mine this or or extract go and uh, we got saplings man we got all the progress we got one oak i'm gonna use that one first twerk is in the pack so we can actually just mash the shift button i'll actually get bone meal effects and every once in a while this should grow come on grow for me grow for me and since we have the crook we should be able to use it on the leaves and get a whole bunch of saplings right so we'll just do that there we go uh we also got some silkworms which is really good we'll probably just take this and uh throw down some more saplings just to get this uh kind of mined up here Oh yeah, you need something in your hand to be able to use ore extraction too. So I'm just going to do it with silkworms, because uh, that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, there we go. 
I'm going to go ahead and make our first chest there here as well, I think. So let's actually do that. 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 There we go. We actually have a chest. And I'll throw that right there. I'm going to move this. I can't move this. I really need to make a tool here. Let's look at the next quest, I guess. Let's go ahead. Oh, we can't. Huh. We actually need four of each sapling. So I'm actually going to have to make a little bit more dirt here, aren't I? It's weird they make you want uh Well, it's weird they make you make four of each sapling, to be honest. A little strange. Considering, you know, it is kind of a kitchen sink pack, why make me get a whole bunch of them? I think I know the, I know the, you know, method after getting one of each sapling. <laughs> why me, make me go ahead and make four? Anyway, we'll get it done. It's going to kind of dig out a little hole here. In time, I'll just keep probably going in one direction at first. Making ourselves a little tunnel. Just so we can spread things out. Because otherwise, everything gets kind of bunched up. Uh, when this is the only room you have, right? Anyway, we've got some stone here. We've got 57. Let's take 20 more, I suppose. Let's see if we can get some saplings going. Uh, can we make a stone wand, actually? I have a stick. How do I get a stick? Oh, because I have wood. Helps if I pay attention. Let's do that. Sweet. And uh, see if we can actually make a stone wand now. Let's make our life a little easier. There we go. Awesome. Let's actually go like that. And just wand this, man. Oh, it's pulling from the wrong stone. How much did I get there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 21. That should be more than enough. Let's actually hammer that down. Hammer's going to break, of course, but uh, we could probably go ahead and make another one. We should be able to just use sticks now, too, so that's an added bonus. Sweet. And uh, get that hammered up. Awesome. I also want to check this, actually, now that we have this gravel here. If we can actually get flint out of it. So we can get flint out of it as kind of a bonus. Wouldn't hurt to have, right? Let's do that. Awesome. And just use a sapling, I suppose. And there we go. We can get flint. So that's pretty cool. I think we need four of that uh, in a little bit. So let's go ahead. Well, we're going to get a seedling, right? There's always a flint stiffened mesh, right? So we're going to go ahead and just see if we can get four flint. There we go. We're good there. And then we can just grind the rest down into the dirt. Cut up the rest of that. It did use up four of our gravel doing that. But, uh, not really a big deal. There we go. We got our dirt. Next one, use a crook. Make sure you use a crook, not a hammer. I could see me messing this up several times. <laughs> go ahead and do that there. Dad, did we finally get all our saplings? Are you serious? How many do I need? I need like 800 saplings, it seems. I need a dark oak. How many dark oak do I have? I have one dark oak sapling. Is there any other way to make these at all? No, there isn't. <laughs> That's really RNG heavy. Oh, well, what can you do? There we go. We got our sapling quest. We're going to finish this up here. I guess we could just claim one of the quests. Let's see what we get in the chest here. Tier 3 chance pendant. So apparently chance cubes are in the pack. Definitely a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Sweet. It's so nice to get eight planks out of... Uh, <laughs> out of out of the wood now. I mean, sorry, four. Um, I'm so used to not getting it lately in packs. Anyway, let's do that. Let's actually grab the hammer back. Really the only thing we need right now. So let's go ahead and kind of see what the next quest is. Next one is to get 16 wood. Uh, did we get any more oak? Probably. Let's go ahead and grab that. And, uh, we should be able to get a good amount of oak pretty quickly. And, uh, shouldn't take very long. Yeah, we can just sit here. I don't let it grow up. <laughs> Uh, I am gonna need something here. Actually, let's go here for a second. I just need something by hand. Where did I get a plum pear? That must have came from the tree. Anyway, I'll just grab that to have something in my inventory. Just so I can harvest the wood. Otherwise, yeah, it's not gonna vein mine, right? Do that. And I don't want to hit it with a hammer. If you vein mine with a hammer, it's going to kind of derp out, actually. And, uh... <laughs> it's gonna derp out and, uh, turn it into, uh, what is it? Wood pulp, I think? Something like that? Or wood chippings? Something you don't want. But anyway, let's go ahead and do two batches of trees. I'm actually curious now. Crook. I should use the crook on this, shouldn't I? Let's grab the crook. We should get a whole bunch of saplings if we do it like this, right? There we go. And it's extra high low, so we'll get these silkworms too. So that's actually pretty cool. We actually go ahead and make string already. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that real quick as well. So let's do that. Let's uh, plant one more batch. Get that done. There we go. I can actually do it right now. Let's grab those silkworms and uh, just take like three of them. Just put them around here. There we go. And let that kind of grow up. We can't access this very much right now, but uh, not a big deal. Curious about this well, as, though, I should say. Let's go. Put that there. Maybe eight. Let's see how fast this thing is. Holy moly. 
That's actually really good at this point. That's cool. Anyway, let's pull that out for a second. Let's switch to uh, tiny charcoal. Throw that in there. I don't want to do all the wood, but I do need a little bit for torches. Then we'll kind of keep the rest here. How fast is that going? At a pretty good pace, actually. Let's grab this quest here. Check that out. Claim that. Sweet. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look at this loot chest. And uh, we got some uh, upgrades for extra utilities. That's not too bad. Have to... I think that's the second tier one. Maybe the third tier. Doesn't matter at this point. It does want us to get string. It also wants us to get the tinkers. So we can actually start our tinkers tables. These are almost already infested anyway. Uh, let's go. Take you. Let's take like... I don't know. That much. Turn to the planks. That's cool. Throw you in there. Let's actually make some sticks as well. That'll be cool. Sweet. And uh, yeah, let's get this going, man. We need some patterns here, so this is a big deal, but it needs to get done. Maybe like 20 to start. Should be good. Uh, to get the Tinker's tables, we are going to need a stencil table. We are going to need, I guess, one of these. Actually, we need a crafting table as well, right? So we'll do that. Turn that over, hopefully. There we go. And uh, then we'll need a log. Why can't I grab? Oh, is that all in there? That is so derpy. I need to move that so badly because it's messing up with my inventory bed. Do that and that. There we go. It's messing up with my multi block, is what I should say. Because it's trying to access that when I want it to access this, right? Anyway, let's get this out of the way too. So let's do that. We got our first little string here. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and make one more crook. We could just do that with wood now, anyway. Sweet. And uh, probably grab. Oh, is that not a crook recipe? What is a crook recipe? I thought it was shapeless. Oh, it looks like the regular crook's not here. Huh, how strange. Oh, it is. It sticks. I'm a derp. Anyway, let's do that. There we go. I got rid of all of that. And, uh, we got a string quest, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we still need here? I got kind of lost and kind of sidetracked here. We've got the stencil table, tool station, and that. Uh, we need this, right? This is the part. There we go. That should be everything, right? No, it wants us to have a pattern chest and the park chest for whatever reason. Uh, we need another chest here. It's kind of, oh, we don't have enough wood. Let's do this. Let's kind of vein mine this puppy dam really quick. I actually want to check something with those apples too, because our food's going down quick. Let's go ahead and see if the OP apples are in the pack. Because Tiny Progressions is here. Yeah, they're here. <laughs> These apples are awesome. You basically just smelt them down and they're pretty solid food there. And uh, we'll handle all of our issues early on. That's pretty cool. Curious what these pairs are for. Can they be just smelted down? No, they cannot. Okay, let's uh, throw those in there. Okay. Let's uh, throw that in there. Okay, awesome. So we have all our ticker stuff we were working on. We're going to get some chests, right? So we're going to do this. There we go. Get four using logs. Just a quark recipe, I think. There's our pattern chest. I don't know what the part chest is. I have not a clue. Let's go there, part chest there we go and i guess it's that right there so let's grab you that's awesome there's another quest there all finished up but, uh, we just did three more so we might as well go ahead and see what we did there got our strings and we got all of our tables you see there it wants us to get tinkers pretty soon although i don't know how we're going to do that at this point to be honest but growth crystal we could use that to speed up growth there we go works at nine by nine checks up to do Two blocks up or down. So you can put it above a farm or below it. It'll make things grow quicker. I don't really need it for this right here. So I'm not going to use it right away. Let's check the other ones first. Eight draconic cores, which is actually pretty crazy. And we also got another growth crystal. So we'll be able to grow things really easy early on. That's pretty cool. And I need to make a tinker's kind of tool here. But this is all messed up. I'm not going to do this. Let's actually dig out behind it. And then I can just put the tables behind it. I really shouldn't have put that furnace down, but hopefully when we make our first pick here in a couple seconds, we'll be able to kind of, you know, get around that. How do I end up with two stencil tables? I'm a total derp. Get rid of you. Station and park builder. I don't really care about the order, to be honest. There we go. Uh, I may do this though. Let's grab you and you. Grab the actual pattern chest. I like to have that there, so we'll just put that right there. So, we got our multi-block. Except for that. That's derping everything up. But we'll go over to the stencil table. Let's get over here. And, uh, we're just going to make a pick here. So we'll grab that. Let's grab a binding. Let's grab a tool rod. And let's grab the sharpening kit as well. So we'll grab all that stuff. 
Uh, we're going to go, I guess, to the part builder. Throw that in there, grab some stone, make a head. I guess we'll go to the tools. Not tools, sorry, the tool rod right there. It's going to give us the actual wooden tool rod. And lastly, we just need a binding. Sweet. And I guess we should make a couple sharpening kits as well. That way we'll be able to repair this really easy. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. I need the actual uh, part station. That's not the part station, sorry, the tool station. There we go. Got there, and uh, we have our first ticker's tool. So I'm actually curious if this thing can vein bind. No, it can't. Still can't work on stone, so definitely a limitation we're just going to have to deal with. I didn't think they were going to let us kind of just void mine <laughs> uh, the entire kind of countryside, right? Because otherwise, yeah, make our life a lot easier. Have to do it a uh, little more manual until we get ourselves a tool forge if we actually get a hammer. Anyway, we've got a little more stone here. Let's actually take them, kind of drop them off, and uh, see what we got here. Next, we're going to have to get in the saving smeltery. We should start the process of dirt, actually. It's kind of... What do I got for logs? Not enough. Let's get another batch of trees here. There we go. Would not mind a few more if I could get them. Oh, another thing I'd like to get, actually. Let's go here. Can we make a wood shear? Wood shear? Is that a thing in this pack? It is. Let's go ahead and grab two of them because they're really low durability so we can actually get some leaves um, this is all excellent high low stuff there we go except for the wood shears that looked like it was tiny progressions but it's there with that uh, we also need uh, the wood as well so I should probably grab that there we go uh, we can go ahead and make ourselves a crucible with that we should be able to make water if we get two buckets of water we need a way to move it though we might have to make some clay first before we do it uh, but we'll be able to make an infinite water source, basically, is what I'm going for. Grab the oak crucible. While we're at it, let's grab a barrel. So we'll be able to make different things in that as well. So let's grab you. Surprised these actually aren't quests, but anyway, let's do that. Grab the oak crucible. Let's grab the wooden barrel. Sweet. In this one, the crucible, we're actually going to give it leaves. Just uh, throw that in there. That's just going to slowly turn into a bucket of water. Uh, we're going to need to... Actually, no, you can do the crafting in there now, can't you? So I just need a piece of stone. We'll actually need a couple pieces of dust to actually be able to make clay. So that's what I'm trying to go for here. Make some clay, man. Just uh, get that going. There we go. I think it's uh, going to be... Going to do a lot of steps here. Just because of the dirt, man. The dirt actually makes everything take a little bit longer. So you actually have to do an extra step. But not that big a deal, I suppose. Let's do that. That'll give us enough for four clay blocks, but that's going to take a little bit. Okay, so what else could we get to here? We get to the sieves. Uh, let's go to here. Let's check out sieve. Uh, we can go ahead and make the regular one, I suppose. Let's do that. Uh, do I want to compress one as well? I mean, it wouldn't hurt, right? So let's do that. And make a heavy oak one. Sweet. I'll handle that. So we handled our sieves. We're going to have to make some meshes here, but uh, we'll give that a second. Let's uh, take a sieve, throw it there. Grab that sieve, throw it there. Uh, we need to get this out of here. <laughs> I feel so claustrophobic right now. Gonna just get uh, some more saplings and stuff. Doesn't even matter. Let's get the leaves out of here. I really don't need them right now. Could use the uh, the stuff. The wood though. Always need more wood early on. Boom. There we go. There we go. And uh, looking pretty good. So we need the meshes. Is that more tiny progressions food? I'm not used to this stuff. Is there anything special to do with this? Like I'm not really sure. No, it's just for juice. They just added their own version of the juice. So you could add the juicer. The, the apples are actually easier for now. Uh, if I need the juicer later on, I could definitely do that. But anyway, let's do that. Uh, I was smelting up that and this, right? We should be able to make torches, actually. Let's go ahead and make those real quick. Just so we have a little more light around here. There we go. Aren't living, you know, in complete darkness. There we go. We have light, man. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, drop all that stuff off. Figure out exactly where I'm at. So, I was working on the seas. We're going to grab that. Sweet. We're going to need meshes. So, let's go. Actually, I forgot to try this, too. Huh. Yes. Okay. I was a little worried. <laughs> so, we can't break it. I, if I did it with my hand, I probably would have destroyed it. We got some upgrades. More of them. So, we actually have a good amount of the upgrades now, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab. What do we need next? I'm thinking what we need next. We're working on mesh. Let's go ahead and grab a, not a nesh, because I don't know what that is, a string mesh. We'll actually grab two of those. Let's do that. 
we should be able to grab one of the flint ones as well. So let's grab you. And with that, uh, we can actually throw them into here, right? So I'll put a flint one here and a string one here. I thought it was going to use the previous level mesh. That's why I made two. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll end up with a lot more meshes. But now we can see things down, right? So let's go ahead and grab our stone here. There we go. Not sure what I want to save first. So let's go to, I want iron. Iron is going to be our kind of main kind of thing we need early on. And I just need to go here, go to use, check out the sieve. You can see here we can sieve down. Is that just dirt? What the heck? Is that dirt or just nature stuff? Okay. Apparently that's a thing. I have no idea. That's going to get us a whole lot of natura kind of bushes and stuff. I, I don't see me doing that one, to be honest. It's kind of confusing to be there. Gravel will get us iron at 30% chance, which isn't too bad. So gravel is a pretty good winner for iron. Uh, what was that at? That was on that mesh. On this mesh, it is 40% with gravel with the flint. So I may go that route. Iron stiffened. I'll have to get to that first, but that'll give us our diamond and stuff. So far, gravel is looking pretty good here. So that'll get us gold. Iron 30% again. Iron 40% again, so it really comes down to re what resources you want as secondary. Iron stiffened to go up again. Uh, what else do we got here? We could do dirt. Dirt is going to give us grass seeds. Uh, with the grass seeds, we'll be able to plant that and start getting passive mobs. So that is actually something I want to do. I have to get a little more dirt here and then add stone and stuff. So it doesn't seem to matter. It looks like gravel is actually the best bet right now. Uh, we should be able to go ahead and grab our first clay. So let's do that. With this, uh, I don't really want to do this. Well, I am going to need a way to move fluids around, right? So we're going to need at least one clay bucket. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I might have been able to make the bowl. Yeah, I probably could have. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and make a clay bucket. Sweet. And, uh, throw that in there. And I should have some more charcoal. Did I use all my charcoal? There's no way, man. Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> let's get a piece of wood then, I suppose. Grab you. Sweet. Actually, let's grab all that. This is going to turn into charcoal here. Awesome. Then we just throw that there. Oh, it didn't make it. Dag damn it. Throw that there. Sweet. I guess we can get this converted over now. Awesome. And then throw that there so we can do a little more kind of crafting. And uh, where were we at? I'm a little lost here. I just kind of lost myself. Doing too much at once. So, we're working on clay. We got our clay bucket. I need one more bucket of water. I'm actually going to need two buckets of water. And then we can have an infant water source. I was going to do some sieving uh, really quick. Or sieving, whichever you want to call it. I know a lot of people get angry with me. It doesn't matter which one I use. Uh, <laughs> people still get angry whether I say sieve or sieve. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do in that matter. But anyway, let's go over here. Let's break that. Go to gravel. With this, we're actually going to compress this because I actually have that the heavy sieve. It's going to make it so we do a whole bunch at once. It's a little less efficient, but it's way quicker, right? So go in here. Just going to kind of sieve stuff down, and we're going to get a whole lot of kind of resources thrown at us all at once. And, uh, that was pretty cool. And, uh, you can see here, we actually got some stuff and things here. We actually got enough for our first iron. We could actually go right here. There's our first piece of iron, just like that. Also got some coal and some flint. So uh, flint, I might check. If it's decent with tinkers, actually. Go to, I guess, flint. Flint. And pickaxe. Check that out here. Oh, no, it's not. Pick. Flint. Is that the tinkers one? Yeah, durability 150. So it's actually higher than stone. Mining level iron. Mining level iron. That's not too bad. And the mining speed is 4 versus mining speed 5. So it wouldn't be bad to actually switch over to a flint pickaxe once I have a little more flint. Yeah, that is pretty cool, man. Like, everything's kind of coming together. And, uh, it's feeling pretty smooth, pretty good. That is going. And uh, I'd like to get the infinite water source at least. So let's go ahead and grab you. Get that done. And uh, kind of grab that as well. Sweet. Grab ourselves a couple loot chests because, well, that seems like a thing to do. We've got mechanism upgrades and draconium infused obsidian. So, yeah. <laughs> Stuff we don't need uh, for conic until way way later in the pack but, uh we have it either way and, uh, that is multi-block now properly which is an added bonus but i should be able to take this right throw that in there i like how this has multiple slots i have to say it's actually i am a fan of this furnace i don't know how efficient it is but uh, at the same time it has a whole lot of slots 
for doing things simultaneously, which is actually pretty cool. Anyway, we have our first bucket of water. Let's do that. Let's grab you. Let's go ahead and uh, find a spot here. Let's kind of do it right here. Do that. Here we go. And then we'll need a spot here and a spot here. Of course, we'll need to actually make the water. So let's throw that in there. And, uh, we're almost done, man. Almost done on the infinite water. It wants us to make a mob farm. So we need inner pearl, bone, and rotten flesh. That won't be today. It also wants us to make a crucible. Oh, that's cool. It actually tells you the speed uh, multipliers for all the blocks that go underneath it. So Wicked Draconium is 120 times speed. This will be able to make us lava actually really easy. So that is pretty cool. Early on, fire seems like the best option. Although we don't have netherrack. We'd have to have a way. Oh, we could actually make netherrack actually really easy, couldn't we? Netherrack, probably with the barrel crafting. Yeah, right there. Just need a redstone. Redstone, where's that come from? Seeving dust, it seems. So yeah, not a big deal. Just need iron stiff and mesh first. We can kind of press forward with that. And, uh, yeah, just kind of looking at things, kind of figuring how we're progressing. Because once we get past this, like I said, it's going to be a matter of choosing which route I want to go. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool here. And it does feel good. It feels smooth. It feels like a good pack here. And uh, I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to have to get the smeltery too. Oh, uh, the smeltery. Is there... I need to see here, because we might need a ton of clay. And that might be uh, a little bit of annoyance. Right here. There we go. Seared stone. Yeah, we're going to have to go with grout. So grout, go there. We're going to have to do that recipe. So each one's going to get us eight grout. I'm going to go with the minimum size, probably smeltery. And then just kind of smelt down cobblestone to get more seared stone. Probably the best way, right? So we go to, I guess, seared stone. Check that out. You should be able to see it in the smeltery. Hopefully that recipe isn't disabled. I would know. don't know why they would. Yeah, each one makes one igot. I think you need four of them. So every four stone, I think, equals one uh, block of seared stone. That's the way that works there. So yeah, pretty cool. Just ways of kind of going about things. Our water is just about done here. You can do it. I believe in you, water. Come on, Crucible. And bam. There we go. And it is infinite. So that was the one thing I wanted to check there. And uh, that is pretty awesome. And actually a pretty good start to the pack, I have to say. And uh, pretty fun all around. I'm just going to smelt up some apples. And I think I might actually wrap up this video. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here, I think. So I just got to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop and buy, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. Just uh, keep it classy. Also, I do have Patreon. So if you want to think about supporting me moving forward, making videos, it'd be absolutely fantastic. But I am going to end this one here. But as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in that video. Later.